There's a way to pray for our pastor, please. Just follow my lead. Pray however you want to pray. Uh, whatever the words, if you're speaking quietly or out loud. I just thank you for the love. for the same and for his life. I thank you for the love and support that he's brought to this church. I thank you that each week we're here, Jesus is introduced to us in a new way. Our hearts rejoice, Lord God, that we can come closer to you through this man and his obedience and his faithfulness, Lord God. We thank you for what you're doing in his life, the next level he is going to. And we thank you, Lord God, for the sudden one. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Ed. I'll get you later. You were in the bathroom, and I'm not going in there to minister. <laughs> Let's all I'm give like, a round of applause to Pastor Red for being an awesome gentleman. Right. He's an awesome pastor. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, one of the main one things, the things Pastor mentioned was the yard sale. And in our jobs, definitely in the military, we work government, there's a big, people make big to-dos about thank yous. We give out medals, awards. There's all kinds of ceremonies, parties, pizza parties, or there's, um, you get a new roof if you have enough money, you made enough money for a building or a church or a new vehicle or whatever. We're not going to see that all the time here because we belong to Christ. And man is going to point, pat us on the back or whatever, and it, that seems to matter to us. We need, we need a thank you. We need a, but what we don't realize is we need that from him. The approval that we long for is from Him. The love that we feel like we need comes from Him, and we have to accept it from Him. We have to be willing to take it from Him. We have to be willing to just say, you know what, Lord? Man, I'm, I worked so hard. I'm so hot and so tired today. And But I'm just going to rest my head on your chest. I'm just going to lean into you and know that you're going to heal me. I'm going to lean into you and know that you love me so much that uh, when I open my eyes, I'm already going to feel better. I'm already going to be refreshed. I'm already going to feel less lonesome. I'm not going to be as depressed. What, whatever it is, that those are our medals. That's our medal of bravery and honor. And when we get to heaven, and he starts handing us crowns, which the Lord God will do because we are faithful, because we were humble in our giving, because... No matter how hot it was, you know, the church got set up, the yard sale was, you know, was successful. People came in and they were, the first person who came in, Lord God, she came in and hardly anybody was here. We were just, it was so hot, we were just getting things kind of out. And she came in this place and she walked back over there and came back over here and she said, there's such a peace here. There's such a filling of the Holy Spirit here. And, I mean, we hadn't even really got started yet. And she wandered around. She picked up a few things. When Gladys was speaking to her and greeting her, she said the same thing again. And when she left, we invited her to come. We invited her to, please don't be a stranger. We said, if, we, if you see a light on and someone's here, come in. You know, because at first some people aren't really sure, you know, what, what's being taught here or or what's accepted here. People are afraid. People don't want to be rejected any more than they already have in their lives. And, you know, we all know we've been to places where there's a dress code and there's, you know, the rich ones sit over here, the poor ones sit over there, or, you know, there's all this treatment, special treatment and stuff. That's not what we do here. That's not what Christ did. You know, Christ put his hand on in the dirt and spit in mud and rubbed it on somebody's face and their eyes were healed. I mean, you know, so he had spit and mud in his hand and somebody's, you know, eye stuff. But he healed them. It didn't matter to him. Those little things that we find uncomfortable, the little things that we find nasty, Jesus is like, it's just a part of life, folks. Keep trusting in me. And this is what he gave me. This is his thank you. This is our reassurance. And it's out of 1 Peter chapter 2. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, every one of us, a holy nation, every one of us, a people for God's own possession. We belong to him. So that you may declare the goodness of him 
who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. In times past, you were not a people. You were not united in any way. We all kind of went our own way and believed our own thing and did our own thing. You were not a people, but now you are the people of God. You have not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Let us rejoice in Him. Amen. Amen. Amen.